Hey guys, Shooter again here, back for part 12 I believe this is, of the speedrunning tutorial. Uh, we have collected every single cage we can have up to this point, and we have all of the abilities we can have. So now we're going to enter Eraser Plains. There aren't too many bit well there are, there are a few little tricks, and there's a couple of bits that will require a bit of explanation. So instantly jump and punch this rubber and then land on here, or whatever it is. You can jump from this eraser straight onto this ledge, so just run and jump straight onto it. Now we're going to do a suicide strat here. So obviously if you hold it up and jump on this ring you'll get a bit more speed here, as you can see. So we want to be taking damage there. We also want to be taking damage on these next guys. So hover into them and then punch the cage. You see how I got hit there? You can hear the hiccup. So I broke the cage as I was hit and died, which is pretty much the fastest you can get there. Um, it, obviously if you die before you break the cage, that's terrible because you have to go and break it again. Um, just your priority is make sure you break that cage before you die. I just did it fast enough because I've practiced this enough that I know how far I need to be. So I die as soon as I hit it. So now we've got that cage and we're back here. What I'm going to do now is exit the level. And I'll explain why I'm going to exit the level. Uh, when you die, the speed of your fist gets downgraded by one level. Um, I have the slowest fist. Uh, wait, no, uh, there is the slowest fist. I have the second slowest, I believe. Um, it goes slowest fist, and I think there's fast fists like two and three different levels of fast fist. There is a trick in the final screen of this level before the boss that requires either the second fast fist or the third fast fist. So you need one of the top two fastest. Um, and we can't get that one from this fist that we currently have. But when you exit a level and re-enter it, you'll be given the tin count that you had upon entering and the fist speed that you had upon entering. If you died in gong heights, your fist will be too slow to do the trick anyway, so there's no need to exit and re-enter. So I will re-enter, and you can see my tin count's gone from 0 back to 15. And my fist is now faster. I now have a level 2 or level 3, I can't remember which. Um, this first screen is notorious for being horrible and really difficult. So uh, for beginner players, all I can say is make sure you don't die. Because if any, if any screen is going to give you a couple deaths, it's this one. If you hug this wall, you can crouch underneath that uh, ball. Jump up here to activate... oh, great. There. Activates the uh, eraser that's... sorry, the uh, sharpener that's going up and down there. So you can just look at l uh, lots of videos, see my inputs. Um, the pencils aren't random. They're based on your movement beforehand, but they feel quite random. So yeah, that's that's going to require a lot of practice. I will show you though, um, at this point, the uh, eraser might be coming towards you as you're ready to get up onto it. So if you do a, if you do a short enough jump, you can sort of like land on the sharpener at the perfect timing that you can jump back up onto the ledge, if that makes sense. So, like that. So that so that makes it a cycle earlier, so you can then run below the sharpener. It doesn't really make much difference if you're just starting out, it just saves a couple seconds. And then carry on like this, be very careful. The one problem that people see that I've noticed is sometimes if people use helicopter, the helicopter disappears. And that happens with these roofs of that, of that um, screen right there. Sometimes you use your helicopter and it'll... Uh, just stop working and you'll fall and die. So you gotta be careful. Get the small one. I actually I will explain this. Um run through here. Jump, jump. Uh the spawning point is above that yellow pencil for the for the elf fairy thing that makes you small. Um you can jump incorrectly and not spawn it. So you could leave it a tiny bit to make sure you get on top of the pencil. Um, just have to test that out for yourself. 
jump and then break that. Hold down so you don't grab onto any ledges. Jump, grab this, and if you're fast enough you get that first cycle right there, which is nice. Jump, jump. You don't want to hold up or down there because you might get hit by the pencil. Keep running and then you'll catch this cycle too. Jump and punch, and then you can quickly get on top of this. Just like that. Okay, um, that explanation I had for the fist earlier will come into play here. I will obviously show you what you do if you don't have a fast enough fist. Um, so you can see there's a cage just off the right hand side of the screen. What you usually do is become small Rayman. So I'll show you what you do now. Um, you'd have to get on this ball. You see how one of the balls doesn't have a spike? Um, what you can do is crouch underneath and then once you let go of crouch you'll get hit. And once you jump, you'll jump on the one that doesn't have a spike, so you have just enough time. Get hit, and then jump up here like that. And then stay on the left-hand side. These guys will come at you like that. Get this, get the P if you want to. So now that you're small, you can go down and break it like that. That's what you do if you don't have a fast enough fist. If you do have a fast enough fist, go here. If you jump into the wall, you go a tiny bit further, like this. Um, hold your uh, your punch for quite a long time. Let go, and you break it. A thing I have noticed helps. Uh, I and uh, the actual world record holder at this uh, the time of this video actually found out and told me. If you jump just before it hits the cage you'll have a better chance of your fist reaching it. So I give it like a few spins, four or five spins. Bum, bum, bum. And then jump. That helps you hit it. So now you hit that. Continue. So obviously you don't have to do all the long uh, thing of becoming small and all that. You can punch that guy, wait for yourself to become big again, and then you go up here. Jumping up here spawns the, the sharpener. Jump. Now, if you have enough health, you have to be careful of your health in this screen because you want you want at least like three or four health here, preferably four or five. Um, but you want around that. Anything less, and you can't do some skips for the boss. So be very careful with your health. Um, here will be a damage boost. You can look the opposite way. Well, I think you can anyway. And then run, punch this, oops, and then punch the cage. What I do is I jump when my feet are in line with the little uh, grey-brown marker on the pencil that I'm beside. I jump to grab onto the ledge of the uh, spiky things, and then hold left and jump again so I get hit by it. And then I run through, punch it, and then as I'm falling down I punch the cage, just like that. What you'd have to do is just break this ball and then, you know, bounce it up and punch through. But that's the faster way, so uh, jump, hold left and jump, run, punch this, and then punch it as you're on your way down. So now we go run and jump off here. We don't want to be small. Uh, again, if you're positive you won't get hit after this, what you can do, hover under here. Oh, great. Uh, Hover under here and then look to the left, so that just skips those quite a bit. Otherwise, just hover, hover, hover. It's, it's quite tough, actually. So move under here. Keep going. Grab this ledge. You might want to deliberately slow down to grab the ledge. Just jump, no movement, jump, and that'll spawn uh, the platform to get that cage. That'll spawn the cage. Now that we've got that, we have to travel all the way back to become small, Rayman. Again, if... Oh, great. Um, I accidentally pressed load save state instead of save. So let's do this again. Um, what I should say, though, as we're making our way to becoming small, Rayman, what you can do, again, is take some damage. Okay, 
let's just get this. Spawn that. Go on to here. Break the cage. Um, so now that we have 5 health, you can afford to take 1 damage, preferably. Um, you might decide to use it here. So if you just hold left, you can just pass through like this. Now that we're small, hover through. Don't waste any more health. So if you're scared about losing too much health, I just recommend not using that damage boost that I just did. Got to be careful here, because uh, if you don't do it right, you fall down into here, and it's really tough to get back up. <laughs> so don't be afraid to hover like that. Don't be afraid. It doesn't matter to a. It doesn't matter if you slow down and grab onto that eraser, as long as you survive. Jump just before the ink runs out, and you can fast, uh, quickly go into here. Weave through like this. Keep crouching. You can run in between those pencils, but you'll get hit by them if you're not careful. So I don't recommend it. Okay, now we're here. This next bit requires fast mashing. So mash really fast. Run out of the way. Mash really fast. If you're fast enough, you get two cycles there. Wow, that, that guy, that ball was not moving. So let's try it again. Just be careful. You can see I've got two cycles there. Which is good. Which is what you want. So let's save here. If you're fast enough, you can actually run straight through these. You might just have to wait, that's fine. Jump over these guys. Grab this, become small. Go here, jump, jump up, and get there. <laughs> Quite simple. Not really much I can say about that. Um, just do the level as I do. So now we're at the boss. With four health. We only need three health to do the stuff that I recommend doing. There is another hit you can do, but that risks soft locking, so breaking your game and killing your run instantly. So obviously beginners are not going to do that. Stand here and just pretty much mash for this guy. After three hits, he'll disappear. This bit's quite tough. You have to break his basket. Be very careful of the bombs. Once you hit it twice or three times, just mash again. If he decides to kick you, that's annoying. So let's try and do it without getting hit. Sometimes, yeah, if you don't hit him at the right time, he'll decide to kick you. See, look, that's that's what he does if he doesn't kick you, which is good. He's annoying. So let's save here. Um, right away, with Viking Mama, jump on the dagger and punch it. Crouch around. Now this is the first trick we're going to do to save some time. We can actually damage boost off of, off of Viking Mama to hit her while she's in the air. So once she moves up here, I'm going to run to the right. Now what I'm going to do is hold jump and then hold punch. Hold jump, then hold punch, and I hit her in the face. Just like that. We'll do it again. Run to the wall, hold jump, hold punch. And there we go. There's two hits. So that's all I recommend you do if you're a beginner and you're just starting out. Hold down for this. That's all I recommend you do. There is a final hit that I will show. I may as well show it. But because it risks breaking your game and ruining a run, I don't expect anyone just starting to do it. I don't even do it sometimes. Crouch and move. So here's the final hit. What I use to time it is when the third, so this one, this dagger I'm standing below now, when this one aims itself at me. Just do the same thing. And there we go. Because of that, you can see with my hands in the air, that means I succeeded. If I miss that, I'll try and deliberately fail it. I, I'm not sure if I will. I'll try and deliberately fail it now. See this? My hands didn't go in the air, the daggers are still spinning. That means I'm stuck forever. No matter how fast I go, I'm stuck. Um, 
So yeah, that's the risk you're taking. So otherwise, just go through these like that. And then you can punch on the next turn. And be careful because these daggers can hit you, even though you've just beaten her. So just duck underneath and then you're done. That's a Razor Plains. I hope I explained it well enough because that level's quite confusing. Um, we are five levels away from the final level, I believe, which is pretty good. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Next we'll be doing Pencil Pentathlon, which is a much shorter level. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.